local Parmar stores. Marshall football is preparing for a road trip to Greenville, where it'll face the East Carolina for the first time in two years. The Thundering Herd is coming off of a decent win in their home opener, that final 21 to 17. But all 21 of those points were scored in the second half. Marshall went into halftime down three to zero, then came out of the break. Albany started with possession. They scored fast. And just like that, the herd went down 10 to 0. In Marshall's first drive of the third quarter, Cam Fancher threw a short pass to Charles Montgomery, who took it 19 yards to the house. And from there, it felt like Marshall finally got the ball rolling. I asked head coach Charles Huff today what changed in that second half to allow three touchdowns. He said it's pretty simple. They brought in 30 transfers. And they all hadn't competed in a game together yet. So we wanted to make sure the guys could play base football before they opened up the playbook. Obviously, as we got into it, we found out more about what our guys were comfortable with, what Albany was trying to do based on what they've seen from us. So we were able to come out in the second half and have a little bit more consistency. <clears throat> but in the first half, we were just trying to figure out who, who can play base football. Like, let's not fool ourselves. Now, we could have went out and found a way to you know, put up 60 points. And then we go down here to Greenville and we get our face smacked in because you still got to block that guy. You got to tackle that guy. The long run that broke out for 70 some odd yards that the Albany quarterback had, two guys were supposed to have their eyes on the quarterback. Both of them are playing the dot. That's base football. And that's not a knock on those two guys. That's, again, they get in the game, they get excited, they want to go make a play. And so that's what we were trying to figure out. Who can play base football? Huff went on to say the fans did their jobs. They showed out 25,101 was the final attendance. He said he understands fans want to see the scoreboard lit up, but he said, quote, my expectation is to win. Their expectation is to show up. They did and we won. Tune in tomorrow night at six o'clock as we dive deeper into what East Carolina looks like and what the herd will be facing when they take the trip to Greenville.